Lechon Kawali. Bon Appetit. Let's try if it's crispy. Mmm! Mmm! Matipo mo'y mistisa na chinita Habang ako'y morenang dalagang Pilipina Tingnan mo naman ako sa mga mata mo Ay na nang narita ng takbo <laughs> Hello beautiful people! Good morning! Happy Easter! Today is Sunday, so it's Easter Sunday, guys. What are you guys doing? Are you guys doing some egg hunting for the kids? We're actually not doing that this Easter Sunday because um, I was not able to prepare. <laughs> I was just um, staying here in the countryside pretty much. But last Friday, we had a really successful benignit and oh my gosh that was actually so much like a lot of benignant and all of it was being consumed by everyone here in the province so that was very very nice it really felt so good that i'm able to do this kind of gesture again to everybody because i was thinking that everyone's gonna actually prepare benignant in their own household and whatnot but then they're actually they actually did not because mom uh, announce it to their they actually have here like a community group chat on Facebook so mom shared it that I'm gonna do like a benignant for everybody so yeah you guys have seen just the kids but there are some adults as well that actually was able to eat because that was like a lot of benignant and it tastes so good oh my gosh so proud of ourselves not just me um, it was my sis mom who actually helped and also Razzle thank you so much to Razzle Dazzle <laughs> um, who actually helped us with that and we used her walk which is really huge by the way but yeah also we were able to give out you know fresh watermelon to all of the people that went with the procession they've actually passed by here in front of the house and yeah it was so nice to see that a lot of people actually attended that and it just goes to show that you know we still have that religious um, side of us here in the Philippines so anyway today is Easter Sunday it is very gloomy here in the countryside people um we were gonna go to like a swimming pool just around here the countryside guys but we decided not to go because i know that there is gonna be a lot of people and yeah there it's it's not the best to go and yeah i was actually planning for easter since um sis is not gonna be working it's like a long weekend long holiday um to go to the south like drive and all that but then you know what like every holy week there's always like a lot of accidents happening and yeah there's has just been um, a few that has reported here in Cebu specifically so yeah we just decided not to go anywhere just stay here around the house and just chill and be with family so we had a really nice bonding a lot of eating <laughs> benignant cooking a lot of napping and um, just yeah catching up pretty much so anyway um, right now it is currently I think 7 30 in the morning I decided to wake up early well, I was supposed to wake up at 6, so the sun is still not as harsh, but it's actually a gloomy day. So, um, we're just going to prepare some breakfast. But before that, we're going to go grab a few items in the roadside so that it, we can have some good food today.
Right, guys, I just finished with my breakfast that was given by sis. So right now, I'm gonna write down all of the things that I wanted to get in the roadside. Um, it's better this way because then I'd be able to complete all of it. So it's always a good idea to write down everything that you want to buy you know especially when you go to the grocery because you just want to grab everything and purchase everything and then you ended up bankrupt <laughs> okay first things first tomatoes because here i don't have tomatoes anymore i only have one and then i still have garlic and onion um and then i also want to have avocado because i want to make guacamole and then mango um, i'm gonna give mangoes to papa because his appetite is still not back to normal and then i'm gonna give him bananas as well bananas and then scarlet wants grapes i'm not very sure if they have grapes around here though because normally you can buy this in the grocery or in carbon my ball pen is not working <laughs> And then tomatoes, avocado, mango, banana, grapes um, for our lunch. I don't know. Okay, what else do I need again? Mm, I think that's pretty much it. Let's see. Yeah. Alright guys, we are back here at home and these are the stuff that I got from the roadside here in the province, in the countryside, okay? So we're gonna start with, ta-da, we have here fresh pechay. Look at that, this is really good for balalo or anything for soup. And then we have here one bunch of bananas, this is gonna be for papa. And then I have here a bunch of tomatoes since I don't have tomatoes anymore. I think this is like, I don't know, 23 pesos or something. Like it's really cheap here around the countryside as well. Because they only got all the produce around here. And then of course I have here a lot of calamansi. This is very good for, for, his, um, for the sauce. So yeah, I have all these. I'm actually planning to do like a lechon kawale today. So this is really good to pair it with the sauce. And then Scarlett requested for some grapes. Grapes in the Philippines is quite pricey, guys. Look, we have this and then another one, which is this. And that's 80 pesos already. That's like almost two US dollars. That's really a lot, isn't it? And then we have here Saba. So we're gonna have banana Q for the snacks today. So one bunch of saba or this, bananas. Different kinds of bananas. And then we have here about three or four kilos of mangoes because it's very cheap. So the little ones, the small ones are 130 pesos per kilo. I think you guys have seen it the other day. Razzle and I actually went there. So these small ones, actually they're the best as well. Very, very sweet. So these are 130 pesos per, per kilo. This is for mom. 
this is for you and then and then we have here another batch of small mangoes as well because this is going to be for papa this is what he eat with um rice and then here i have four big ones i love the big ones as well look 150 pesos per kilo so all in all the money that i actually brought with us is 1000 pesos and let's see how much money do i have left guys so we would know how much everything cost all right you're gonna have to help me with the math here because i'm so bad in math right we have 300 10 20 30 40 Okay, 340 pesos. 1,000 minus 340 pesos? 760. 760? <laughs> okay, so everything is 760 pesos. That's pretty good. Look, that's quite a lot, especially with the mangoes. Right guys, so I boiled three eggs for Papa. It has salt in it, in the tissue. And then here we have the mangoes and banana. So Papa still has, doesn't have the best appetite. So we are going to give him these. Hopefully this can help him. Actually, he's just been eating um, rice porridge and then rice with mangoes rice with banana that has just been his meal he doesn't eat with us anymore so yeah he needs a lot of protein so i figured boiled eggs will be best for him so we're gonna give this to him i got a bunch of bananas as well so he can have some potassium. Hello. Hi. Sis is doing laundry for Papa. Protein with egg. Where's the panga? <laughs> sulking. <laughs> Scarlet is sulking, guys. Pa. Pa. Oh. It look Og Manga Og Saging Kada na itlog kay init pa Hudda na itlog ha Nay asin ana Okay He's resting still Where is the panga Panga! What happened? <laughs> you have a mosquito lagi! Wow, I like your bed! Can I get inside? How do I get inside? <laughs> you wanna read that one? Well, it's like a little house inside! <laughs> Hi guys! We are in Scarlet's bed! <laughs> Cow. Joe. Joe! <laughs> Low. Uh huh. Low. 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 <laughs> po. Uh huh. Po. 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 Very good. So. Very good. Low. Very good. Low. Wow! <laughs> High five! That good job. Bad. Okay. Bad. Good. Bad. Good. Bad. Okay. Hot. Okay. Mad. Okay. Bad. Alright. 
Black. Okay. Sad. Wow, high five. Very good. Last. Bye. Uh huh. Bye. Yes. Bye. Huh? Jar. Very good. Five. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Die. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Why? Wow, very good. You deserve grapes. Hello, I just finished doing my laundry and it's really hot right now. So I'm gonna do a voiceover of my benignant. This is gonna be for TikTok guys. You can follow me there at Meldon Salon 8. And I've actually edited it already. So this is how it looks. Ta-da! So I'm gonna do a voiceover. You guys will know the behind the scene now <laughs> how I do it. So we're gonna add an audio and then record. Ready? <laughs> I would normally start it with hi Meldon Salon here today. Let's go la 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 la. Alright. Hi Meldon Salon here today. Let's cook benignit. Ooh, how did that go? Alright. Next. Then add water, taro, sweet potatoes, native tapioca. In a big walk, walk. <laughs> okay, wrong. In a big walk, in a big walk, in a big walk, 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 wow, wow, oh, okay. In a big walk, add water, the taro. <laughs> Hi, this is how it is. Okay. In a big walk, add water, taro, sweet potatoes, and native tapioca. Wow, that one is perfect. Okay.
Hello everybody, we are now preparing our lunch. This is lechon kawali everyone. Look how nice it is. Actually the rest is still cooking. I boiled this for about 20-30 minutes and I just fried it and that's how you make your lechon kawali. It's pretty much the same as how you will do crispy pata. Um, but it's just um, lesser time to cook since it's actually just um, very uh, lean meat and a bit of fat with the pata or the leg it's like very hard to be softened all right now i am preparing the sauce um i think i've read one of you guys' comments like how do i do the dipping sauce that we would use here every time we will have crispy pata or anything grilled so this is how i i would normally do it guys um i have here onion so we'll put it in the little bowl and then we're gonna slice up some tomatoes as well some people would actually remove the seeds of the tomatoes. I don't really do that, but sometimes I do. It really depends. <laughs> but we have this. I don't know if this if it's like a hoax or something. Some people said if you're going to eat the seeds of the tomato, it's going to give you appendicitis. <laughs> Is that correct? Um, yeah. Growing up, I always hear this, you know, here it says from the people here. All right, so I'm just gonna slice this one up. And also we're gonna add calamansi. That's what's gonna make the sauce um, very fresh and it will give a bit of aroma as well. So we're gonna slice up one calamansi. Ta-da. This is the reason why I got calamansi earlier. And then we're gonna add soy sauce. So you'll just eye it out okay so that's what i would normally do um a little bit of vinegar since we already have the um calamansi that's already sour and then you can try it out if it's already good for you or if you want to put some salt so let's try mmm it's so good. What's lacking is actually chili. We don't have chili. I forgot to get when we were there with mom. But yeah, this is just how I do our sauce, guys. Try it out for yourselves. <laughs> See if you like it. One, two, three, go. Mga tipo mo'y mistisa na chinita. Habang ako'y morenang dalagang Pilipina. Tingnan mo naman ako sa mga mata mo. Ay nanang narita ng takbo. Hello everybody! Finally we are eating crispy pata. Ta-da! Someone's waiting. <laughs> this is the sauce. We have here rice and I have here chopping board because we have to chop it up. Alright, let's see. Is it crisp? Did I say crispy pata? <laughs> It's lechon kawali the eye, guys. Look. Oh my gosh. That's for you, Panga. It's hot. It's very hot. You have to be careful. Okay, let's try our crispy pata, people. Crispy pata again. Crispy pata again. <laughs> okay, I mean... This is lechon kawali. Bon appetit. Let's try if it's crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, my God. Can you guys hear that? Mmm. Oh, my gosh. This is so good, guys. It just really takes a while for you to like prepare everything you can prepare it like an hour before meal you know because <laughs> yes so this is my crispy crispy patan sad what is happening to me ah! guys bon appetit thank you lord let's try the what's this the meat 
Mmm. Oh my god. Palmito. Is it yummy? Mmm. Kasama ng baan eh. Nako. Mmm. This is actually very crispy. I only fried it once. But if you want the most crispy, if you want it very crispy, you can fry it twice. But that takes so long. <laughs> so this one will do. It's still crispy though. You guys can hear it. Mmm. 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 Because you have small teeth. Tita have big teeth. Mmm. <laughs> Is it so yummy? Mmm. I like it. The sauce is so good as well. What the sauce? Mm. Guys, let's eat. Bon na pitya. Mmm. Like after you cook crispy pata, if you still have some left over, crispy pata again. Crispy pata again. <laughs> Tichon kawali. The next day, if you have left over, you can cook it in a different dish, which is called tomatoes. Ay, kinamatisang kawali. My favorite in dessert factory. Tichon kawali. You like this one or you like crispy pata? <laughs> Which one do you like? Crispy mm. pata. Alright guys, we are here in my room now. We just finished with our lunch. You guys can hear the air condition is... Mm, because we turn it on since it's very, very hot. Like even if you are going to sit down and put the electric fan in the living area, it is still very hot. So. Sis and Scarlett are here. We're gonna take a nap. Take a nap now. Good night, Bunga. Good. Okay. Is it night? <laughs> Good morning. Good night. Good night. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Right now, I'm currently uploading a video for you guys. This will be up by tomorrow. You know what? I'm so happy that I'm actually able to finish March pretty strong because normally when a month starts, I would have like a plan on what are the videos that I'm going to film for that month but for March I didn't have any plan at all I just could not think of any but I'm so happy that still <laughs> we were productive for the month of March guys so yeah this is the end of our March era <laughs> oh my gosh 2024 is really gonna fly so quickly again it's gonna be Christmas oh my gosh why is everything so fast it's so crazy all right anyway guys um this is gonna be it for the vlog by the way this is our easter sunday just here at home actually earlier so everyone took a nap here in the room because we had air condition because we were trying to nap in the living area we just could not do it because of how hot it is even if we have two electric fan on it is still very hot like super duper hot so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here guys i just want to thank everyone again for watching my videos for this month thank you guys all so so much for helping me survive and for sending you guys recommendations as well for the month of april please help me what do you guys want to see more on the vlogs i really really need that <laughs> because well, I do have a travel for the month of April, so that's going to be very exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward for that. And yeah, if you guys have any video suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I will see you guys on my next one. Be kind and don't forget to smile and be happy. Bye!